Kaepernick now on first down. Caught left side by Cobb. A good pick up there of 22. Oh, nigga, they're not uh, eating on Denver and giving us. Throwing on first down is Kaepernick. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he gets this inside the 35 yard line. There's completion of the tight end, and I think they were looking at something out central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands, speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? She buy it off. Well. Now a play fake here on first down. To the right side, and he's got Landry complete. And he'll get this one down to about the 20 yard line. 14 yards that time for number 14. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? He's able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. Here's Tomlinson, and he's going to push his way down to about the 12. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. And once again, leverage wins. The offensive line, lower than the defensive front. They moved him and found some good space for the guy carrying the ball. <laughs> on second down, here's Kaepernick. Some of it's cool enough, boy. We don't care. And maybe lucky there. This guy doesn't drop many defensively. Third down. I know in every game we do, we talk about momentum. That was a momentum play I lost. I have to tell you that. Tell you that guys know. There could be a letdown because it didn't get the interception. Yeah, you could almost hear the collective gasp on the sideline as he could not come up with that football. Oh, it's a touchdown if he holds on. Instead, it's fourth down. After all the preparation, all the practice, a play like that will absolutely break your heart. They had everything they wanted, just unable to complete it. In the end zone, a big time drop. And the 10 year bet knocks it through the goalpost, and the Chiefs are out to a 3 0 lead. So the opening drive for them here on their home turf results in a field goal. Now that's the way you want to get things started. Your stadium, your crowd, you've got the ball. Put points on the board first and let everyone start to celebrate. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not the That'll be up to you, you. Like, I don't, I don't give you the fucking heads up and tell you what was going on. You trying to shit her and she trying to shit you. You wanted something, she wanted something, so. I know what daddy uh, said right now. I, I, I mean, I tell you that you, that you think I'd be joking. Right. Love the call by the offensive coordinator, recognizing the situation very well, calling for the play action pass and completing it. Always eating game for the end for the end of beat. Back to throw now on first down. He's gonna hit his man out of the backfield. Yeah, they put up the glass door and shit to him. Call it a pickup of seven, yeah. and that'll make this a second game. down. Right, I'm going to show my age here a little bit. We used to talk about running backs catching the ball as safety valves. Nowadays, they're a big part of the passing offense. Quit acting like you're so old. You're only 65. <laughs> Surveying the field. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Boy, he came in off the edge so quickly there. Look out, because that's exactly what it was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback because he had no chance to block him. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And this is going to be caught. No, they say it's incomplete. Mike Wallace, the intended receiver, and it's fourth down. Well, he challenged the play. It did not pay off. And that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. And as a coach, you hate that. Don't know if you took the advice of the player. You threw it yourself. 
but it didn't go your way. At the end of the day, it all comes back to the head coach. He has the final determination on whether to actually challenge the play or not. In this case, it didn't pay off for him. And that's got to be so heartbreaking. You throw that flag, you probably feel really confident, and then all of a sudden, boom, you lose the challenge. And mm -hmm. when you take a look at it, you're throwing that flag because you believe you're going to be right. And when it comes back the other way, you have to regroup. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Complete to Newsom. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a pickup of 14 there. And that'll be good enough for the first. And here comes play number six on this drive. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. It's the former Patriot, Devin McCourty. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And now here comes Kansas City. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. That's what happens why she's got the goal. Every time she, she do, she's got the hearts out of people. Because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way. That doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Back now with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. As the Chiefs in possession of the football as we begin the second quarter. And they've got it here with a first down. Play action. Now Kaepernick. And he rifles it complete. Caught by Landry. That throw good for four. It's second down. Okay, so now the question, how did he get that wide open? Well, we both know that he shouldn't. Because from the time they handed out scouting reports before this game, he was circled, starred, everything. Find him, cover him. But sometimes you can scheme a guy open. You put the receivers in a bunch. Maybe you move some motion. Maybe you put them on the backside of a formation, and all of a sudden you've got a better matchup. Every now and then, the offensive guys, they figure a way to get him open, even with everyone keeping eyes on him. And that's certainly a guy they want to keep trying to scheme open. On first down, Kaepernick. This is Cobb with a catch right side. And he takes this one down all the way near the 30. It's a gain of 24 that time. Good enough for a Kansas City first down. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. Kelsey out in the slot right. 91. 91. They'll run it now out of the gun. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 14 there. And that'll be good for a KC first down. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. I always talk about slot receivers, and they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. And the two-minute warning lurking. This will probably be the last play before we hit it. Yeah, they want to get themselves in position to score in this last shot before the clock hits. Now a play fake here on first down. They'll buy some time right. Just a one-yard pickup on the play. And that'll make it second and goal. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Back to more NFL action on EA Sports after this. Second and goal from the two-yard line. Back to the ground, this time with Tomlinson. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. This defense hasn't let them in yet. They'll need to stiffen here. Third and goal from the two. They'll try and run. Tomlinson, and he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. With Damian Tomlinson punching it in from a yard away. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip.
Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. Now this offense ready to take over again. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told them, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. Hey. I know we're being a little bit facetious. Oh, well, this is taken in. It's complete. And all the way in for yeah. the touchdown. T.Y. Hilton, 79 yards. All right. And his guys get the quick strike touchdown. Yeah. And there, Charles, he lined up out left, ran the post, caught it over the middle, and the rest, as they say, is history. And you have to love the scheme that they just showed there. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if you run a deep post, you ordinarily have to get a safety out of the middle <laughs> of the field. And you do it one of two ways. Either by running routes at him that carries him away from it, or you either freeze him in the middle with routes that run underneath so that he doesn't get depth. Then you throw it over the top, and boy, what a successful play that was. And now here comes Kansas City. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. One receiver left, two to the right. They go play action here on first down. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's going to be out of bounds but able to take it inside the 40-yard line. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is? to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, go to a zone blitz game, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Kaepernick now on first down. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. It'll be a pickup of just two, and that'll make it second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. To throw is Kaepernick. He's got a man wide open. It's Landry. A nice gain of 21 yards. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. One of the selling points of the end route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. And that loss of yards there is not just on him. It's on the guys blocking for him. I mean, they're supposed to create some type of space or at least get a stale. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Ty Montgomery as the first half is winding down. And the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here in the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and carry it into the second half. Now this offense ready to head back out there. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Finding time. Look at the time. He's going to go for a big play. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked up by Janoris Jenkins.